if you are working on developing the oracle bip report in fusion then what we have to do is we have to always go to the data set or the data model we should create a data set that is based on the sql then we have to write a query something like this or in the actual business use case your query could be a very lengthy one but the designer view what we get over here is very small which is not suitable to write the very huge queries so we have to click on ok we too should go to data we should click on view again we have to search over to the table view and verify the data if the data is not written properly then we have to again go to the data set click on edit and we have to modify the query suppose if you are wondering that if we are having a tool something like sql developer wherein we can connect that sql developer like tool directly to the fusion and write our data set or the data model sql query once the query is finalized that if you are satisfied with the data what it is written with the query then we can copy and paste it over here instead of every time going over here to the edit data set this is sql query go over to the data verify the data and back and forth it is a too much tedious job or very time consuming so we will see what is that tool called and how we can install the tool in our local computer and connect to the fusion databases seamlessly and write the sql queries so currently at the time of recording this class oracle has not got the native support in sql developer that is to connect to the fusion databases or with any other vs code extensions currently we do not have any support but we are having one tool called as PyQ. So you can go to this website that is https colon slash slash pi hyphen cube dot com. So once you land into this page, you will see that there is a short description. It says integration, reporting data, extraction and analysis made simpler. We have to click on this download. So it will download the PyCube software on your computer. Let me just pause this class because it is a huge file that is of 220. 8 MB. So I will pause this class until this software fully gets downloaded in my computer. Once the exe file has been downloaded onto your computer, you have to double click on this. So this will be applicable only if you are running Windows operating system. Suppose if you are running any other operating system, please check the pycube.com website for more details. So you can run the installer and click on next, select the location where you want to install. So this will take a couple of seconds in order to fully install the software on your computer. Once your installation gets completed, click on next, click on finish. Upon installation, this PyQ beta will automatically launch on your computer. Suppose if you have check mat run after completion. Suppose if you are unable to find this pop-up, then you can manually search in your computer that is with the name PyCube and start the application. You have to click on start application. Here it will ask the name. Here, give over here the binum.apps at the rate gmail.com. Click on enter. Here it will ask the six digit code which it has sent to our email. Let me just quickly enter the same. I have entered the six digit code and click on validate. Then we have successfully launched this application. Click on maximize. Now here is the simple interface which you can see here we can write the SQL query. Here we can set up the connections. Now I will click on plus connection over here. Here I will tell the name as fusion and you can give the name over here. Development instance, UAT instance, so on and so forth things. Here we have to provide the url of your fusion instance i will quickly provide the same i have quickly populated the url the username and the password click on test once it is tested successfully we will get a message connection successfully tested click on save so our connection is getting saved it will come over here on the left hand side then click on ok now if you see we are having this fusion dev you can just click on expand it will check for the resources wait for some time until it fully loads also if you want to change the environment you can select from here on the right top corner just select this suppose if you have created a connection for the test instance development instance and for the production and you want to switch between the environments you can just toggle like this suppose if you want to expand you can see the tables what it is having in the fusion so like this we can see all the resources available in this cloud now we will switch over to our query that is this one also we will keep this handy that is the data let me switch over to 200 click on view and select the table view 
So this is the table view of the data. Now we will run the similar query in our PyQ. Let me just copy and paste it over here. Select this and click on run. It is also processing and we are seeing the data. What we were seeing in our fusion. That is when we ran this SQL query in the catalog that is under the data sets for a data model. Like this we can make use of PyCube software and run the SQL queries natively in your laptop or a local machine what we can run over here in the Fusion data set. So only drawback over here is we have to make use of this very small layout that is to write the query. Suppose if you want to write the huge queries then this small space will be a hurdle for you and also in order to test the data we have to every time click on save go over to the data and click on view. So with the PyCube you can create the SQL queries like this on a fly and you can analyze what data you are getting from the fusion and once you are done with writing the SQL query we can just copy from here and go over to the data set click on edit and paste and click on ok and also you can verify the data over here so what data you are seeing over here similar data you will see on your fusion data set when we run this SQL query so like this we can make use of PyCube in order to make our Oracle BIP report generation or creation process very seamlessly.